Contrary to popular belief, some of us can actually read. Barry can't. And we've been putting those reading skills to good use to see what dishes you want us to cook by writing on our YouTube comments. And we've seen that pasta has come out on top. Isn't that right? Yes, that is right, Jamie. Mm. Because on our carbonara dish, Flavi 22 and <laughs> Lava Queen 998, they both said they were loving the pasta. So, Ben. Well, pasta's obviously going to be where we're going. And Alpha Madge 20 also wanted a dish to impress, mm. but doesn't take much cooking. Excellent. So, this is perfect. Pasta takes 10 minutes, start to finish. A prawn and pea pasta. Prawn and pea okay, pasta. and the beauty of this is we're going to use frozen prawns, frozen peas, pasta, it's all sewn together in as long as it takes the pasta to cook. Excellent. Okay, and the pasta is going in first into rapidly boiling salted water for about eight to ten minutes. Okay, cool. got that on the go. And meanwhile, our sauce. It's always with the onions. Always with the onions. Always a good starting point. So first ingredient that doesn't begin with pea. In this dish. In this dish. Not in, not in the world. No. <laughs> so we'll just quickly dice this up. Mm -hmm. Now, the other things I can get you guys on with at the moment, some grated some cheese, Rush parmesan, another pea. Ben, how do you say pasta? Do you say pasta, pasta or pusta? Pasta. 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 Because yeah. I know, you know, from an Italian family that it's actually pasta. Ooh. That's how the American controversial. Really? Yeah. Each to their own. So onions go into a nice hot pan. Oh, oh look at that sizzle. That's a sizzle and a half. It certainly is. Sizzle me tibble. How's the cheese getting on? Uh, it's great. <laughs> well and truly. Yeah. Parsley. Parsley. And a knife. Nice. nice and fine. A little knife there. And Mike, do you want to give the pasta a stir? Now it's been in there for do do, a minute or so. Just make sure the pieces aren't going to stick together. Ben, do you want the stalks of the parsley? Uh, just the leaves for this one. Now, as I said before, these are really beautiful ingredients because they all stay in the freezer until you need them. So frozen prawns, frozen peas, dried pasta, all there ready to go. You throw it together in no time at all, as and when. And I don't know about you, we've always got half a bottle of wine kicking around as well. So <laughs> Not in my house. This. Not a half, anyway. No. Few empties. Parsley is done. Fantastic. So are our onions. So we'll just pop in a splash of white wine. A bit more than a splash, don't we? Oh yeah. there. And that ah! will reduce down. You know that's hot water. It's boiling actually. <laughs> Safety first, lads. Safety first. Parsley in the face. <laughs> so as that reduces down, we can now oh. think about adding in all our other ingredients. Now these are still that's frozen. So strong. Because actually, if you run them under warm water to kind of defrost them, you'll lose all the flavour. So we're actually going to put all that in there as well. Uh -huh. So our prawns. Isn't prawns a slightly strange thing to put in a pasta dish? Uh, seafood's quite popular in pasta. Yeah. Because, because Alpha uh, Madge wanted something to impress, yeah. I think something seafood and some prawns would really help that. So you can't impress without using fish, is that what you're Not saying? the case at all, but more sophisticated. Oh, right. yeah. Bit of an That's opinion. Yeah. Now, peas and prawns have defrosted. I know we're up to temperature. <laughs> so we're getting some cream in. Your cheese, Jamie. Yeah. And yeah. the parsley. Yeah. Do you like creamy prawns? I'm about to find out. Cheesy prawns. Cheesy prawns. Cheesy cream. Well, that's a lot. Okay, that's you fine. You said that was enough. And the parsley. It's beautiful. Absolutely perfect. Fresh parsley. This point, our salt and pepper as well. And Mike, is that pasta there? It's, it's still here. <laughs> I mean, nearly ready. Um, yeah. Pull out a piece and just check it. Hot, hot, hot. Slippery. We could do a bit longer. Okay, our so sauce is just beginning to thicken up that cheese. Do you want to halve the lemon as well? We just want to squeeze the lemon juice in here just at the very last minute. Keep it very fresh. Squeeze. Without any pips. Perfect. We'll taste that and see what we think. There you go, Jamie. More, less lemon. I'd say a bit more. Yep. That pasta's got to be there now. You want it al dente, anyway. Yeah. It basically means it's cooked, but it's still slightly firm. Ah. To the tooth. To the tooth. Still got a bite to it. Still got a bite to it. Okay, so we'll just drain our pasta. pasta. Back into the hot pan. The sauce is there. Mm. Now, Jamie, do you just want to clear down that board? Yeah. Because in the oven, we've got some garlic bread as well. Oh, fantastic. So you can get that out. All of this going in here. That smells amazing. Fantastic. That now the spoon, all we need to do, Mike, we've got penne here, so it absorbs all of that flavour and cream right the way through the tubes. Nice big portion, plenty of prawns, plenty of peas. Just tidy it up, especially if you do want to impress. Nice wedge of garlic bread. Oh yes. That's a big wedge of garlic bread. Oh yes. So for all you pasta lovers out there, or somebody who's looking for a quick dish to impress, then there is our pea and prawn pasta sorted. That is prawnographic. <laughs> Good enough to impress, yeah? I'd say so. I'd say it's past delicious. A bit of garlic ring there as well. Ben's really good, isn't he? Mm. Don't you think, everyone?